This is the solution to quiz five. Okay, so uh, this part A can be done using foil. So that would be eight plus 14i minus 12i minus 21i squared. So this is just foil. Uh, so F O I L and so that would be 8 and then plus 2i collecting the i's together but uh, one last simplification that can be made is that i squared is negative 1 so that's using i squared is negative 1 so that uh, <coughs> that's the same as adding uh, 21 so that's positive 21 so then that would be 29 plus 2i okay so for this one the trick is you've got to multiply by uh, 1 the only thing you can multiply by without changing the question but we have to be a little bit uh, clever and we're going to choose 2 minus 5i over 2 minus 5i. So notice that that is 1 and also it is that the numerator and denominator are the conjugate of uh, 2 plus 5i. Okay, so if we do that, then uh, multi multiplying out the numerator and the denominator with FOIL, uh, the numerator will be uh, 8 minus 10i uh, so that would be 8 <coughs> outsides, no, not 10. So, first, outside, inside, <coughs> last, so plus 5i squared, and then the denominator would be 4, and then minus 10i, plus 10i, and then minus 25i squared. <coughs> So simplifying the numerator, that would be 8, and then minus 22i. And then now i squared is negative 1, so that would be minus 5, and then over. 4, negative 10i and positive 10i, those cancel. And then this will be plus 25, again, because i squared is negative 1. <coughs> so this would be... Um, <coughs> This would be uh, 3 minus 22i over 29. Uh, and it says give your uh, responses in the form a plus bi. So dividing the denominator in, this would be 3 over 29. And then minus 22 over 29i. <coughs> by completing the square. Okay. So no credit without completing the square. Okay. Uh, to make, for this first one anyway, so not notably it says no credit without completing the square. So to make my life a little easier, uh, I'll, I notice that everything is divisible by 5. So if I divide both sides of the equation by 5, and I obtain a slightly simpler equation, m squared is uh, 12 uh, minus uh, 4m. 
So now I can move everything to one side and obtain m squared uh, plus 4m minus 12 is 0. <coughs> so I can see uh, that this one factors easily. So yes, it does factor. factors easily to uh, x plus 6, well, uh, not x, because we're using m's, m plus 6 multiplied by m minus 2, uh, but the instructions clearly state no credit without moving the square. So let's do it. So this would be uh, m squared plus 4m, and then now we're going to say add 4 over 2 squared, and then subtract 4 over 2 squared, and then minus 12 is equal to 0. So it's always over 2, and it's always squared, but it's this number right here that gets put in that numerator. So 4 over 2 is 2, squared is 4. So this would be m squared plus 4m plus 4 minus 4 minus 12 is 0. <clears throat> so now these first three terms are the perfect square m plus 2 all squared and then minus 16 is 0 so that m plus 2 squared is 16 and now from this equation we can say that there's two possibilities uh, if we cover up the m plus 2 for a moment and say, well, what would square to 16? What would square to 16? There's only, there's exactly two things that would square to 16. One of them is that m plus 2 uh, could be negative 4. The other possibility is that m plus 2 could be positive 4. Uh, so, m is negative 6. Or m is 2. And of course, uh, that's in complete agreement with <laughs> the simpler way to have solved this problem. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do the same thing for this one. So getting one side to be 0, x squared minus 10x, uh, subtract 8 from both sides. So then plus what? Plus 18? is 0. So does that factor? No, it doesn't factor in any easy way that I can see. So we'll complete the square. <clears throat> so x squared minus 10x and then plus 10 over 2 squared minus 10 over 2 squared plus 18 is 0. So again, it's always over 2 and it's always squared, but uh, what gets put in here is that. And I guess really I should put negative 10, but it doesn't matter because it gets squared away anyway. So 10 over 2, that's 5 squared is 25. So x squared minus 10x uh, plus 25 minus 25 plus 18 is 0. The first three terms are uh, a square, x plus 5 squared, and then now we can collect the units. Uh, that would be minus 7 equal to 0. So x plus 5 squared is 7. So there's two things that would square to 7. One of them, one of the possibilities is that x plus 5 is negative square root of 7, and the other possibility is that x plus 5 is the positive square root of 7. <coughs> so the two possibilities are x is negative 5 minus the square root of 7, and the other possibility is that x is negative 5 plus the square root of 7. Okay, so now we have a question just like the previous one, except now the method that 
we have to use is the quadratic formula instead of completing the square. So uh, as a reminder, the formula is negative b uh, plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac, all of that divided by 2a. Okay, and then these coefficients are a, b, and c. So really it's just a matter of taking these and plugging them into that formula there. So x is negative uh, 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times uh, 3. <coughs> And then all of this over 2 times 2. So that is uh, negative 5 plus or minus the square root of, that'd be 25. And then minus, 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24. Over 4. 25 minus 24 is 1, so that'd be like that. Of course, the square root of 1 is 1, so that would be uh, negative 5 plus or minus 1 over 4, and therefore the two different possibilities are negative 5 minus 1 over 4, and the other possibility is negative 5 plus 1 over 4, and then simplified Negative 6 over 4 is negative 3 halves. And then negative 4 over 4 is negative 1. And finally, uh, we're supposed to do solve this quadratic also using the um, quadratic formula. But I'm taking a look at it. I think the discriminant, let's do that discriminant. The formula for the discriminant is that part that's under the radical b squared minus 4ac uh, for this particular one the discriminant would be uh, what? Uh, b squared so, so 16 minus 4 times 1 times 2 uh, is, wait a second, b squared minus 4 times 1. Uh, okay, well, fine. b squared is uh, 16 minus 4ac, so that'd be 8. Okay, so I just wanted to check real quick and see if, if we were going to be able to do it. So this is positive, so yes, we'll be able to go. Uh, therefore, using the formula, y is negative 4 plus or minus the square root of the discriminant, which is 8, over 2 times 1. Okay, and then square root 8 uh, can be simplified. Uh, we can factor a 2 out and leave a 2 inside, over 2, and then... <coughs> That would be saying that y is, uh, I could divide the 2 in and get negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2. And so the two possibilities are y is negative 2 minus the square root of 2, and the other possibility is y is negative 2 plus the square root of 2.